the snow and ice. A young boy walking aimlessly in the jungle, it may be too cold, the boy hid in a thorn bush to escape the bitter cold wind, what happened to this little boy? What happened in the end, in the United States, North Carolina? Three-year-old Casey Hathaway and his two friends were playing in the woods near his grandmother's house, three children happily playing hide-and-seek in the forest, as the snow drifted bigger and bigger in the sky the children began to feel cold. So they decided to go back home to the fireplace to warm up, but Casey Hathaway's two friends found the little Casey for a long time in the woods and they did not find his figure. The two little ones felt bad, they thought Casey must be lost in the forest in danger. So they rushed home to seek help from adults, when Casey's grandmother learned from the two children that her little baby Casey was probably lost in the forest, she almost fainted in a hurry. The good thing was that there were other adults at home. The anxious family rushed to call the local rescue workers to report for help. In fact, there was another reason for the family's anxiety, which was that the forest which Casey was lost in was a forest known for its large number of black bears in North Carolina. This meant that the lost little Casey not only had to resist the cold weather, but also was likely to be attacked by the big black bears in the forest, so it could be said that little Casey's safety was really worth worrying about, in the first time after receiving the report. The local authorities and the public immediately launched a large-scale search and rescue operations, including helicopters, drones, search dogs, diving operations and hundreds of volunteers. However, after two nights and one day of searching, rescuers still couldn't find any trace of little Casey. What's more, the weather was not good, it began to rain heavily, the local was in the severe winter season, the average daytime temperature was below zero, in the night it was extremely cold. And little Casey did not wear enough thick clothing to resist the cold night when he played with his friends, coupled with days of heavy rain, making the temperature even worse, and the local was considered aggressive black bear habitat. The hope for little Casey's survival was getting slimmer and slimmer, and people were prepared for the worst. As the weather became more and more severe, the rescuers were almost unable to hold out, so the local authorities were worried about further accidents. In order to reduce unnecessary casualties, they asked the volunteers involved in the searching immediately evacuated. When people were about to give up the hope, the miracle happened, a local volunteer involved in the rescue returned home. She heard the child's cries vaguely when she's walking, she immediately called to contact the rescuers, rescuers then arrived according to the information. After a simple search, finally people found the trap little Casey in a thorn. Little Casey was stuck in a briar bush and couldn't move, there were some minor bruises on his body. It looked like the boy had suffered a lot, people were surprised to find little Casey, but also surprised that a three-year-old child could survive in such a harsh environment. Little Casey told the people that he was lost in the forest, and in order to resist the cold he tried to get into the thorn bushes to resist the cold wind, but he didn't expect to get stuck inside. A big black bear helped him. Not only did the bear not attack him, but it gave himself a warm embrace like his mother. The bear warmed himself with the warmth of its own body, which saved him from being killed. The bear even used its tongue to lick his wounds. The story of little Casey and the big black bear is really touching. Thanks to the protection of the big black bear, the little Casey only got a little superficial injuries, otherwise if there was no big black bear's help, the fate of little Casey could not be expected. In the following story, a bear and a human also established a deep friendship, the man and the bear in the video are our hero Sonia and Jonathan. Sonia is a Syrian brown bear with a very special light colored fur, and although they are smaller in size compared to other bears, their strength is not to be underestimated, especially their paws are powerful and lethal. Most of them live in high mountainous areas. But even so, the Syrian brown bear still cannot escape the clutches of poachers, when Sonia's mother was pregnant. 
In order to avoid the evil poachers, Sonia's mother had to find a random place to give birth to Sonia. Sonia could be said to be a bear cub which was forced to give birth prematurely, and the mother bear who gave birth to the cub could not care more about Sonia. It was terrified and hurriedly left Sonia after hearing the gunshots of the poachers. The good thing was that the man named Jonathan immediately reported to the local police and rescue workers after learning of the presence of poachers. People rushed to catch the poachers and accidentally found the dying little Sonia, so people rushed to save it, but then they had a problem, because Sonia was too young and weak, it needed someone to pay attention and take care of little Sonia in time. Jonathan took the initiative to take this responsibility, he took little Sonia back to the wildlife sanctuary where he was, Jonathan took good care of little Sonia like his own daughter. Little Sonia grew up healthily day by day under Jonathan's care. And they got along very well, staying together almost every day. Sonia liked it best when Jonathan grabbed its paws and made it fall backwards slowly. It was always happy to pester Jonathan to play with it like this, but soon after, Jonathan had to leave the reserve because of the transfer of work. Jonathan was very sad to leave Sonia, and after such a long and warm life together, he had taken a naive-looking little brown bear as his own child to raise, but he had no choice but to leave. After Jonathan's departure, Sonia was always sullen, wandering around the reserve every day as if looking for something. The staff who took care of Sonia instead of Jonathan said that it was Sonia's way of dispersing its inner loneliness and expressing how much it missed Jonathan. That a few years later, Jonathan finally returned to work in the reserve through his own efforts. When he arrived the first thing was to go to the reserve and visit Sonia. In fact, Jonathan was also very worried. He was not sure whether the grown-up Sonia could still remember him, after all, many years had passed. To everyone's surprise, something happened. Sonia was sitting in front of the guard gate waiting early as if she had smelled a familiar scent, and right at the first sight of Jonathan, Sonia was excited. It was obvious that Sonia recognized Jonathan, and it hugged and kissed him warmly. As if it was telling him how much it missed him, and it even handed its paws to Jonathan, asking him to play its favorite game when it was young. But now Jonathan couldn't drag Sonia, whose size was several times bigger than before. But this did not stop the father and daughter getting close. This scene is too touching, although bears are big and fierce, they can also be gentle and have a deep emotional connection with humans. But we humans always have someone with bad intentions of hurting them especially Syrian brown bears like Sonia, which were listed in the Red Book in 2008 and were extinct in the wild. We should do our best to protect them and the environment, because only then can we have a better future.